Hey guys, it's Mrs. Lamphere, and I've already gotten a couple questions from some of you regarding this next assignment um, called Another Game. And you have this tutorial here that it kind of gives you to follow called Catch the Fruit. And you can download this file. And some of you noticed that some of the items that they use in the tutorial are not actually available in our demo version of MMF2. So, and that's kind of why the instructions say you're going to have to get creative. You got to make this make this game your own. So instead of using their objects and their already pre-created um, characters, you're going to have to kind of come up with some of your own. So, um, this is the tutorial here. But let me just show you kind of what I did. So um, I had a little fun with this, <laughs> and I hope you do too. So I I read I followed through the tutorial, and instead of, um, for instance, it says to use the running man, um, we don't have access to the to the running man um, in the demo version. So I used our old friend from the Choco Break game. So you can use this guy, you could make your own guy. I actually looked up a couple tutorials on creating your own um, characters in MMF2. And so if you want to check those out, um, I just did a quick YouTube search and found a couple videos. So if you want to take the time to kind of create some of your own characters, that would be a great idea. Um, since you'll probably have to for your, when you go to create your own game anyways. So anyways, I, um, chose our little Choco Break character in place of the Running Man and I but I pretty much followed the instructions that it said for like how what to apply to the object so um, you can kinda keep those things the same and then for the fruit we don't have access to the fruit either so instead I went online and I found um, donuts, ice cream, and lollipops and and also these fireball things so I kinda had fun with this game and here's kind of like here's kind of a demo of the game that I ended up creating um, so I made it so that you have to catch the goodies and avoid the fireballs so you'll notice my score every time I catch a goodie my score increases but if I get hit by a fireball um, I actually lose points so <laughs> it was actually kind of fun to come up with. Um, so that's kind of what the instructions mean when it says make the game your own, okay? Because you don't have access to all of the items in the tutorial, so you kind of have to be creative. Um, for instance, when I found, I went online and did searches for different ping um, images. You want to find ping images, that means it won't have a background. Um, so I did like ice cream sundae, ping, PNG, and then that gives me access to these different ping images that you can then save onto your computer. Um, actually, that one would have had a background. So a ping image, you want to make sure, let's see, where is the one that I actually used? Here we go. So with a ping image, you want to be sure that you can kind of see the tiles in the background. So that means that that image doesn't have a background. So that way when you open up in your game, you're not going to see this white background attached to the image. You're just going to see the image. So find the ping images. Then you can right click and save image as and save it directly into um, your, I made an MMF2 folder for graphics. So I have um, a lollipop saved in there, my cloud is saved in there, my fireball, and then I just imported all of those objects into MMF2 by insert new object, which you learned in the first tutorial. So then I went to insert new object from file and I went and found my graphics folder and inserted my objects that way. So this tutorial is doable, you just kind of got to get creative. And then I also like put in a brick floor and some palm trees and I caught, I used the same sky background that we used in um, the Choco Break tutorial. So 
kind of get creative. There, are, there is some stuff available in here um, in the library for objects you can use. There's some balls there, stars, um, different buttons available, different backgrounds. Um, I also took, I almost used this birthday cake out of the birthday or the occasions folder. So um, yeah, get a little creative. Go find your own images or kind of search through the library that they have available to you here. I would like you like to see you use some of your own um, sound clips that you made in Audacity. So this is um, during that class connect I showed you how to uh, cut uh, cut uh, MP3 down uh, to that 30 seconds because we have to follow copyright law. So we have 30 seconds of music and I was able to add that into my game um, just be just by what we did in the first tutorial. Start a frame, add sound, sample sound, um, and so on. And I added music that way. So um, I added some of my own music. I made my own sound effects <laughs> in Audacity today. That was pretty fun. Um, let me go to that folder real quick. So in my MMF2 file I have my audio. Um, and then I made a file that just says it's me saying yum and every time I catch one of the goodies you'll hear that yum sound and then every time I get hit by a fireball you'll you'll hear the ouch sound um, and I added a scoreboard in there so again this is just kind of a, an experimental game to get you kind of using some of the different tools and get you practicing before you go on to make your own game so that is how this next assignment is going to work. So again, you can follow this tutorial, download the PDF file, and kind of be creative with the different objects that you use because the ones that they suggest for you to use aren't available. If you have any questions, let me know.